guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video all about shoes. Now I've seen a couple of videos over the past few months of like shoe collections, I think there's a confessions of a shoeaholic tag and things like that going around and then I'm more recently I saw um, Tatiana or Glam Life Guru's kind of shoe haul slash collection video and I really liked watching it so I thought I would do a video about shoes as well. Now I'm going to make it a collection video but there are going to be three parts. So I'm going to do high heels, flats and boots and I'm going to do them all separately otherwise it's going to be a crazy monster like 40 minute video or something. I decided to do heels first because I thought they're kind of the most glamorous, maybe the most interesting for you guys. Um, a bit of a disclaimer as always with collection type videos, I'm not trying to show off, I just thought it would be fun to see if this kind of thing offends you then please feel free to click off this video now and don't watch it if you don't like it. Also another little bit of an intro to my kind of heel shopping habits, as I've gotten older I've decided quality is definitely better than quantity. When I was a bit younger I used to shop a lot in places like Primark and New Look where they have really nice designs but the quality is really not very good so they don't last very long and they're also I find them to be pretty uncomfortable in comparison to buying more expensive shoes. So what I tend to do now is to save up for like say one particular pair of shoe that I have my eye on and I think at the moment I have like a really nice collection of quite classic styles. I also do quite like classic heels, I'm not a massive one for huge huge high heels with platforms and stuff so um, I don't know whether some of you might find some of my shoes a little grannyish, um, but we'll see, I hope you like them anyway. So first of all as it's summer I thought I would start with wedges and the first pair of wedges that I have are these ones and these are actually from Next, these are one of my least expensive pairs of shoes and I search for absolutely ages to find the perfect nude wedge last summer and I thought I had found them in these, they are, for me they're like the design is amazing and I definitely would have paid a lot more for them, I think they're about £30. Um, yeah, they're just nude, sling back, peep toe, they've got a decent heel but it's not too high that it's hard to walk in. The only problem with these, they feel comfy when you first put them on, but within about half an hour they really really pinch my toe. Um, and for that reason I really haven't worn them much this summer, I wore them a lot last summer and kind of put up with it, um, but I bought some other wedges this summer which I find a lot more comfortable, I've been wearing those a lot more, um, and those ones are these, which are from Jimmy Choo, so a lot more expensive, but um, I find them to be a lot more comfortable, they are actually a, quite a lot higher if you compare them there. They are quite significantly higher, they're just a plain like espadrille wedge with a crisscross front and this is kind of like a tan colour so in a similar way to nude it's quite flattering on the leg, it elongates your leg. I actually posted a blog post about these and a lot of people were asking me um, whether or not they were like hard to walk in because they don't have an ankle strap, they're actually surprisingly easy to walk in um, and surprisingly comfortable. I recently wore these to an event where I was standing up for about six hours I think and by the end I did really really want to take them off, my feet were hurting but in comparison to a lot of my other heels um, not as much so I was quite impressed with these and I've worn them probably six or seven times since I got them, I think I got them about two months ago so considering it rains a lot in England and um, the opportunity to wear heels isn't, or to wear wedges isn't that great and I think that's quite a lot. So I really like these and I think they're quite a classic style. A lot of people commented um, on my blog post saying they're quite 80s. Um, yeah, maybe they are a little 90s. Um, I think they're quite a classic, I really really like them anyway. So I managed to get them, I think they're about 60% off in Vista Village. One thing you'll notice as well guys with my shoe collections, I tend to buy shoes in a sale. I think there's only actually two pairs here that haven't been discounted, I'm a real kind of sale shopper. Um, yeah, I got them, for, I think they're about £140, which is still a lot, but I feel like um, they will last me a long time and they're really nice quality, so those are my wedges. Um, next up, back to nude shoes. Now, nude court shoes have seemed to be like the most popular shoe over the last like two years, probably thanks to Kate Middleton and her LK Bennett nude shoes that she wears the whole time. Um, and I spent ages trying to find the perfect pair because it can be difficult to get the right shade of nude because there's a lot of like neutral nudes and then there's brownie nudes and then there's pink nudes and it's difficult to see which one suits you. Um, I thought I'd found the perfect pair in these which I actually bought for my graduation two years ago now um, and they're not expensive, they're from Dorothy Perkins, I think they're around the £30 mark again. Um, and they look really really nice from the side, I really like the silhouette, I like the shape, um, they are the most uncomfortable shoes I think I've ever worn. Um, they're okay to walk in because they have a little platform and everything but the front is really like a vice and the way they fit I think they're a little bit 
too high um, in the front to look right, if you know what I mean. Something about them just looks wrong from the front. I love them from the side, um, but yeah, they are just so uncomfortable, and for that reason I've only worn them a couple of times. Really, they're just too uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time, but they are really nice, and if you are looking for um, basic shoes like this, then Dorothy Perkins are really good. I believe at the time they did a um, very similar shoe, but in a much lower heel and it didn't have, I think it may have been peep toe so it was probably a bit more comfortable than this. But they are my Dorothy Perkins ones. Um, after like having a bit of a fail with these and thinking that I would found my dream shoe, um, I had a good hard think and saved up for about six months before I bought these ones. Now these are Christian Louboutin, these are my first ever pair of Christian Louboutins, not that I own a lot, I actually have two pairs, I'll get onto that in a minute. Um, but I deliberated and deliberated about whether to buy these or not for such a long time. And when I decided to get them, I decided to get them in this size heel, which is the 85. And I know a lot of you guys will think these are grannyish, granny ish especially for the Boutans, because they do the most beautiful, huge high heels. But I wanted to know that if I was going to spend a lot of money on these shoes, that I would wear them a lot. Um, and that I would really kind of get my money's worth out of them and not be one of those pair of shoes that you wear once a year for a special occasion. As nice as it is to have shoes like that, um, I really wanted some that I could wear all the time that would go with everything and are just kind of a classic style. So I chose these, the Simple Pump 85s in Patent Nude. As you can see by the bottoms, I've worn them to death. I've probably worn them about 40 or 50 times in the last year. I absolutely love them. They're my go-to heel. They were expensive, they're Louboutins, they weren't going to be cheap, but out of all the Louboutins that you can buy, they actually are, I think, probably the cheapest. I think they're £375, um, and I really don't regret buying them. I'm so happy that I bought them, because I love them. And for that reason, because I love these so much, Mike actually bought me um, the exact same shoes in black for Christmas this year. And I love these. I think they're really kind of chic. They, they aren't patent. I'm not a big fan of black patent leather shoes. Um, as you will be able to see in my collection, I don't have any. Um, they're just kind of plain leather, and I really love these. The only problem is, they're the exact same shoe. Exact same height, model, everything. They're just a different leather. These ones are so uncomfortable, and you can tell the difference between the amount that I've worn these. Um, these still have red on the bottom, which is pretty impressive. I must have probably worn these only like six or seven times. Um, because they really like the toes really pinch and I just don't know why it must have been bad luck um, One hit tip if you are going to um, Buy a pair of Boutins is go to the shop and try on numerous pairs because I found especially when I was trying these on There's a difference between every single shoe you might be a different size in I know my sister bought some a few years ago And she's normally a three and a half to a four and she ended up buying a size two and a half um, These are both my normal size which is five UK 38 European or seven and a half US size um, but I tried on like three different pairs of fives in these and they all felt different so if they are uncomfortable if you try on the right size and they fit but they're uncomfortable make sure you ask for another, if they have another pair to try on because often they are slightly different in the way they fit I'm not sure why probably because they're handmade I would have thought if they are handmade I'm not entirely sure but they do kind of tend to vary um, next up, my last pair of nude shoes are these ones, and these are from KG um, for Kurt Geiger. I actually bought these on the way to New York in April, and I have to say, I've never worn them. I've had them for, how many months is that? Four months, nearly five months, and I've never worn them, and it kills me because I love them. I just haven't kind of found the right outfit and the right occasion to wear them yet, but I will do. I absolutely love these shoes. They're just a matte nude leather sling back peep toe with a grey bow on the front and lots of gems and these are probably my most actually probably second most glitzy shoe because I tend to go for quite classic styles like fairly plain um, but I love these and I love the way the heel curves as well I think it's really kind of vintage looking um, and yeah they're actually quite comfortable too um, from walking around the house in them I haven't actually worn them out so I can't really comment on those but I got these for a really great great price because I looked at them when they weren't on sale and they were 150 50 pounds, which I thought um, was far too much for um, KG, for Kurt Geiger, because if you don't know anything about Kurt Geiger, I'm not sure if they actually stock them in the States or elsewhere in the world, but um, 
Kurt Geiger have like their main line, but then KG for Kurt Geiger is like their slightly cheaper line. So I was shocked to see that these were 150, but I got them for about 70% off, about 55 to 60 pounds, I think they were, um, which I thought was great, but I still haven't worn them. So I guess it's not that great. <laughs> I will wear them, I will wear them one day. Okay, next, moving on to, I have two pairs of super, super bright shoes, these two, and they're both from Karen Millen. Um, the first pair of these yellow ones, I didn't buy them at the same time, I bought them about a year apart. I actually bought these in London in Selfridges and Sale when I was with Gemma or Gemma's Maquillage. I just think they're really fun for summer. I really like the shape of them too, I think they look great with jeans. Um, they are actually quite comfy, again they have this curved heel which looks quite vintage um, and the kind of like swirly pattern around them. I really like these. I haven't worn them a ridiculous amount because they're bright yellow and they're kind of difficult to match with things sometimes but I've definitely worn them a lot um, considering the colour and I really like these. The next caramel and pear are these turquoise ones and these are definitely without a doubt my most blingy, snazzy, sparkly, spangly shoes ever. Um, I haven't worn these ones either. Um, I actually got these quite recently though so that's probably why and the fact that it hasn't been great weather in the UK recently, so I haven't worn them yet, but I think they're really, really cool. I just think they're like all pretty, and my mum absolutely hated them. I showed them to her and she was like, they're so tarty, I really don't like them. Um, but yeah, I really like these. I think they're, they're nice. They're probably really, really uncomfortable because most really strappy sandals are. Um, next up, another pair of turquoise shoes. Um, I've definitely shown these in a video before. I think they're in my um, what's in my closet or wardrobe video. These are probably my most special pair of shoes because Mike bought them for my 21st birthday for me to wear to my party. They're from Prada and we actually found them in the sale in Selfridges. Um, I can't remember how much they are because like I said they were a gift but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They're this gorgeous metallic teal um, peep toe court shoes and they are so high considering they have no platform at all. They're so high. They are so hard to walk in. Um, they're not even un like really uncomfortable, they're just difficult to walk in because of the angle that your foot is at, because they have no platform. Um, however, they are just gorgeous, and they're definitely like the most special pair of shoes in my collection. Um, you might have noticed all of my more expensive shoes still have the stuffing in the toes. I store everything really, really carefully. I really like to look after um, my nice pairs of shoes because, like I said, I, I've really gotten into kind of investing into classic pieces, so I keep them all stuffed. I actually, in some of them, these are the next pair, I actually keep the, um, I don't even know what that's called, a bit of plastic that keeps them nice and extended, and I keep them in their boxes, um, all wrapped in their tissue and everything. So they are my 21st shoes, I love these, and I haven't worn them that much because they are impossible to walk in. They, you need to be like going out for dinner or something where you walk into the restaurant, sit down, and that's it. Whereas if you're actually gonna be out and about all night, these are not good, but they look beautiful. Quite often I'll just take them out of the box just to look at them because they're so nice. Um, I have one other pair of Prada shoes and these were my most recent purchase. These are a pair of just plain black suede peak toes and I bought these again in Vista Village. I think they're about 60% off. Um, I just think they're a really classic style. They're my highest shoes, I think, because they do have quite a big platform. But I just think the angle is absolutely gorgeous. I wore these for my engagement party, which I actually did an outfit of the day for. If you guys haven't seen on my bridal channel yet, I'll link it in the info bar below if you guys want to go and check it out. Um, I wore these and you can kind of see um, what I wore them with and stuff. So I really, really love these and I think they're very classic. And I think, um, yeah, I think I'll wear them for years to come. The only problem with suede is obviously that it's quite delicate, but I just adore suede shoes, I think they're beautiful. Um, talking of suede shoes, my final pair of heels, um, and I just realised these should probably have gone in the boot section of this video because they are boots, but I'm going to leave them in shoes because, yeah, I think they're kind of 50-50. These are my Sam Edelman um, boots. I'm not sure if these are called Larissa. I know the um, the actual shoe version of these is called the Larissa shoe, um, but they're basically the studded shoes. They're really famous now. They've been out for a while um, and lots of people have them. Not that many people have the boot. I think a lot of people have um, the peep toe ones. I saw these, not this April, but the April before when I was in New York with Ingrid and Allison and I fell in love with them and I didn't buy them when I saw them. I was kind of unsure. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
Um, and then a few months later, I saw Selena Gomez wearing these exact boots, and I was like, oh my god, they are perfect, I have to get them. So I ended up buying them from mywardrobe.com. Um, it must have been, I think it was last summer-ish, I did a haul video with them in anyway, and they were fairly expensive, I think they are about £200. I managed to get a discount because they had one stud missing, which is actually on the other shoe, um, which you don't notice when you have them on because there's a lot of studs on there. Um, and I love these, I think they look gorgeous with jeans. Again, not the most comfortable. I think the shape of the toe is very, very tight, so um, they do feel quite constricting on your feet. Um, apart from that, they are gorgeous, and the fact that they're suede also isn't great because it means that you can't really wear them if it's raining or anything. Um, but I, I love these, I think they're a real kind of like statement shoe, and they're the only really kind of wacky shoes that I have. Um, Aside from the bright ones from Karen Millen, these are the only kind of really, I guess, sexy, kind of funky, I don't know, I'm thinking of like a word without sounding like a granny, funky is like the worst word. Um, yeah, they're probably my most fashionable kind of trendy shoe that I own. I don't normally kind of cave into um, trends so much and like the crazy prints, things like that, I tend to go for kind of classics. but. I've said that enough times during this video. This is it, that's my last shoe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section below which your favorite shoe that I have is. Um, I'd really like to know actually what you guys think, which one you prefer. And let me know if you like this video idea as well. I'm definitely gonna be doing my flats collection probably next week or the week after. And then coming into September, um, I will do my boots because it's a little bit more seasonal um, coming into autumn and winter and fall if you're in America. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video guys, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!